You talked earlier, um, Brandon, about this kind of jump in some ways from, from, from boarding with a skill that was realized, as, as you alluded to in, in a soccer. <clears throat> just, just tell us a little bit about that experience, because I don't know what age you were at. Uh, I'm guessing young at, at that point, but to move to different countries and expose yourself to cultures. Tell us a bit about that part of the experience, because I'm guessing alongside composure, there's, there's some other real experiences that you've had along the way. Yeah, that's a good point, right? So um, I deeply value the privileges that I've had about being an international um, athlete and citizen, right? Um, through traditional sports, I got to see a lot of developed countries and experience a lot of different established cultures, right? And ways of doing things. And it kind of keeps me, it not kind of, it does keep me grounded and grateful for what I have and what I don't have and what others have and what they don't have. Um, but I think part of the reason I'm so romantic about the action sports culture, I surf and I skate and I snowboard and ride a mountain bike and stuff like that. I've got to spend a lot of time in third world countries, right? And like when it comes to third world countries, it's all about community. It's not about, you know, the luxuries of, you know, fine dining and, 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 and opulence, like the, like, like the privileges, the community and really anchoring down a community and understanding that, you know, we are a visitor in a third world country, you're vulnerable, right? So you have to show up with good vibes and you have to integrate and you have to understand the anthropology and um, really align with the community and the culture. You can't be loud. You can't be obnoxious. You have to be respectful. And so I think a blend of that both really helps me maneuver and navigate, right? I've had the privileges of being in, again, established opulent countries with unique people uh, playing traditional sport. And then I've had the luxury of traveling to third world countries and seeing like a different level of beauty and a different level of community. Um, macro speaking, it's all about community. So for me, it's all about community. And I think that's why I really align to the action sports industry, this lifestyle sports industry, because it's about culture and community. Respectfully, in my opinion, I think more traditional sports is about sport and seasons, right? You can be a basketball player or a football player, but this somewhat seasonality, right? where culture in board sports, you're always that, like you always surf, you always snowboard, you pass it down to your kids, you travel the world to go, you know, surf and then do other experiences. You travel the world to go skate and do other experiences where in my opinion, um, the traditional sports are a little more regional based, a little more geographical. Soccer was a unique sport because it's global. But um, I think I've had, in my opinion, in my experience, a lot more um, 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 paradigm shifting experiences through my board mm. sports community. 